Hi, I'm Chris Kepler, and welcome to Does This Happen to You? I'm an actor, voice actor, audiobook narrator, and writer. I love telling and sharing stories about the strange experiences my friends and I have while doing mundane things like grocery shopping. That's why this podcast features funny stories from fantastic writers about our daily anomalies, a micro-audio book about life and befuddlement just for you. Our story this week is from Jackie O'Quinn, who you'll find on Medium.com. And here is a note from an average wife to the strangers checking out her hot husband. A little food for thought that might make a better snack than my husband. My husband is a good-looking guy, above average in the looks department, without doubt. And in case you're thinking something like, of course you think that, he's your husband. To that I say yes, but also my statement is objectively and factually correct. How do I know? People I don't know, and some that I do, pointed out to me. A lot. I remember reading a quote once that said something along the lines of, Behind every good-looking man is a woman rolling her eyes. That's me, the plain Jane gal who snagged the better-than-average-looking husband who used to spend her days explaining to people she doesn't know that looks aren't everything. I'd be outright lying if I said his looks weren't what drew me to him initially. In fact, I was not so long out of a crappy relationship, and he looked like just the right kind of distraction and rebound. Nothing too serious, just a bit of fun until I was ready to get back in the game. Fast forward ten years, and we are married with a kid. The best laid plans, am I right? I used to get a huge kick out of the relentless ogling of the man that was on my arm. I'd sit at a restaurant awaiting his arrival and watch the heads turn when he arrived and follow him all the way to the table I'd be sitting at before the looks of appreciation for him turned to disapproving scowls directed at me. I'll never forget the day we were in a menswear store which are always conveniently attended by attractive young women, and I was waiting outside the change room. He stepped out in a form-fitting, knitted, collared sweater thing, which, to be fair, looked fantastic. He had the sleeves rolled up, and the attendant swiftly swooped in to admire the look. She took his hand and rolled the sleeve down and then continued stroking his arm from his bicep down as she openly flirted with him. The panicked look he sent my way had me choking back tears of laughter. I put him out of his misery by not so casually clearing my throat, which seemed to snap her out of her fixation. Can you believe that? You were right there, he said as we left the shop. It happens all the time, albeit not quite so obviously. I shrugged in response. The raised eyebrow and stunned silence made me realize for the first time in our relationship this man genuinely lived in oblivion. Not of his attractiveness, a gust of wind would send the tickets flying if he stepped outside, but of the attention he gets from the opposite sex. When? I let out a sigh, realizing I was now going to have to provide examples. There was the standard comment from thirsty old ladies. If you don't want him, I'll have him. He's all yours, Rita. The outright statements from women my age implying there must be something wrong with my vision. Girl, your man is a hot. Is he? Well, I'll be damned. Here I was thinking he just had a great personality. And their weirdest comment to date that came from a good friend. Mate, your husband's hot, but I don't want to do him. Um, good to know? As I observed the size of his head swelling at a rapid rate, I quickly followed up with, Don't worry, babe. They only think that because they don't live with you. Wink. Sweet, innocent smile. Just kidding. Or am I? My next move would be the one that cemented my resolve to always being the one in the pairing considered to be punching above their weight. 
because I was stupid enough to question whether he ever encountered the same problem. Nope, never, not once, not even something that could be inferred. Because that's how this works. Apparently, it's only okay to point out the attractiveness level of someone's partner if they are the obviously less attractive one in the pairing. Like people think it's their duty to remind the average one that they should appreciate their lot because there is no way they're ever going to find themselves with the good fortune of having a mate that is so much better looking than them more than once in a lifetime. I used to get offended by it. I always wanted to respond by asking what exactly they were trying to say. Nowadays, I just smile and nod and agree with their statements. Because while my husband is a great-looking guy and a great guy in general, he's still a human. And if you spend 10 years with another human, it doesn't matter how attractive they are, they are going to annoy the crap out of you at times. In fact, when you see the bare bones of someone in a long-term relationship, some of the things they do will make you think of them as straight-up ugly on occasion. The things that make me appreciative of my husband after this long together have very little to do with how he looks, and I thank the good Lord that the same goes for the things he appreciates about me. He's the most attractive on the days he's thoughtful and attentive to my needs without me having to ask, on the days he's an amazing father to our daughter. He's probably in the worst physical shape he's ever been in since we became parents, which by most standards is still very good shape. But in terms of his maturity, his thoughtfulness and empathy, he's the most attractive he's ever been. Things are different now. I suppose people think twice before pointing out to the exhausted-looking mum that her husband looks like a snack they'd like to take a nibble on when her back is turned. And when he gets the compliments, I don't feel the need to deflate his ego like when the nice old ladies on the beach ask if he was in town for the footy comp this weekend. I saw his chest puff up a little at their words, and good for him. When we look at each other, we see different people. Better people, I think. More empathy and depth. More connection and understanding. What my point is, really, is that there are so many quotes about beauty being skin deep, and looks not being everything for a reason. And while, yes, I can appreciate your appreciation of my good fortune, you might want to consider that there's more to every couple than anyone will ever see on the surface. Love isn't blind. Lust is. Love is seeing everything with painful clarity and sticking around anyway. And it sure as hell isn't a handsome face and a chiseled body. Thanks so much for listening. If you enjoyed the story, let me know and share it with your friends. Follow me at Chris KK Aria on Twitter or Chris K. Kepler on Facebook. Or check out my website, www.chriskepler.com.